and he starts getting upset and then I start getting upset so we're both yelling and screaming and getting mad how do you put it it's like half glass half glass half I can't even talk never mind first coffee what <laughs> spit it out spit this it out proprietary oh time out this is super important super important um, but he gets to join Elijah he gets to go see and meet Elijah so that's just he'll know Elijah up in heaven so that just warms my heart Ronnie and I are crying ugly cries right now freaking walking dead Alright guys, I might have to do this in two parts because I about came unglued again in a different way though. So I talked with the manager of the fitness center, I introduced myself, told him how long I've had a membership here. I told him what I experienced, well I gave him a little more of my experience and I told him. I had to tell him so he understands the seriousness of what I was about to tell him. Are you following me? I got my boy. I had a six year battle with cancer. We lost everything trying to get the best medical help, seeing the best doctors, learning the best stuff. I said, so understand the seriousness of what I'm about to tell you. So Friday, I go take a shower. I, I do my normal, do a little jumping jack shadow boxing in the steam room and so on. And I go into the shower and I see this dude like almost trying to push stuff into the drain. And um, I don't think much of it. It was an older man. And then, so I start washing up. All of a sudden, I see something plop. And he's trying to push something into the drain. Do you get where I'm going with this? So there's this old man crapping into the drain in a public uh, gym. And not, it was like three times. The first time I didn't get it. Second time I'm like, no, he's got to be doing that. I'm like, it has to be that. And then the third time I just knew it like he didn't care. And I almost lit him up right there. And I was like, you know what? What I've been through and knowing what has happened over the years with just my son with accidents you know I didn't want to really embarrass the guy maybe he had some problem but he needs to know we can't take a shower here no more well anyways the the manager had no idea and he says you know what sometimes I got to go in there and clean that stuff out and there's been times I haven't even put a glove on and he starts getting upset and then I start getting upset that he's had to go clean skid marks off of the benches in there because some people are just so sick so we're both yelling and screaming and getting mad and then we were happy again people you're sick not you guys obviously you guys are my precious family some people are just sick and he knows who the guy is because I told him and I said man I swore he talked to you right as you left and he says oh does he look like this 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 I said, yep. He says, I know exactly who it is. And I said, good, you're going to take care of it. And he says, yep. Yeah, so I kind of felt like a bark beetle in a Hummer. But on a brighter note, Smackdown is on tonight. Excited to see what John Cena has in store for his WrestleMania uh, road. Still just flying high with what Roman did. Calling out broccoli. Got two words for you, broccoli. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know what I'm talking about. Good snowy morning, minions. Yes, it's snowing again. Yeah. Snakes, but... snakes. Yeah. After everything just melted, it's snowing again. What is going on? Another snowstorm. We're going to be snowed in. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna help us for travel. Well, 
Good morning. <laughs> I, uh, what day is it? What day is it? Tuesday. Thank you. It's Tuesday. Caden's doing his schoolwork right now. I am half asleep, half awake. How do you put it? It's like half glass, half glass, half. I can't even talk. Never mind. First, coffee. Hold on. Better. Okay, so it is Tuesday, and the next, last couple of days has just been some random footage of whatever, whenever we picked up the camera. We have been a couple of days behind because of the Disneyland footage, but I have been home since Sunday. I didn't go back to Disneyland Sunday because I hurt my foot so bad. My foot is a lot better today. I'm not limping on it, so I probably just strained it. Not sprained it, but like just strained it, some muscles. Back, I think I told you, but I don't know if I did. I, when I edit, I'll figure it out. But back when I was in sixth grade, I fell down a flight of stairs and broke the top of my foot, like fractured the bone. And uh, so sometimes when I have it in a certain way, it does hurt. And uh, I think I strained it, the bone, pretty well um, at Disneyland. So... Um, it was hurtful, but Ronnie was so sweet to massage my foot and <laughs> make it feel a whole lot better, put ice on it. I took some meds. I'm not into taking medication unless I'm in extremely amount of pain, so you know I was in pain when I took meds. Mm -hmm. ah, that's what I'm talking about. How you do it. Ah, okay, so Monday Night Raw last night was really good. And I really enjoyed Monday Night Raw. Uh, I'm not a fan of Ronda Rousey. You can hate on me for that, but I am not a fan. Those are one of those people where they're trying to make everybody love her. And I can hear the boos in the audience. Not a lot of people like her. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Ronnie likes her. I'm just not a fan of Ronda Rousey. But I do like the storyline. I do like the fact that there's, she's in a fight with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, but they're trying to make everybody like her. Um, yeah, she's a good fighter and stuff. But I'm just not a fan. Just not a fan. I don't have to be a fan. And the best thing about this is uh, on our comments, in our on our vlogs is <clears throat> that we can disagree we can agree to disagree without calling each other names and being immature and being <clears throat> and just uh say okay well you don't like so and so i don't i like so and so but you you know we're very mature in our conversation so i appreciate you guys we can have fun at disagreeing on who's better than who but without calling names and being immature about it so i appreciate you guys Cheers. Hey Minions, how's everybody doing today? Today is uh, Wednesday. I got 90% on school today. Yes, you Woo! Are. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay, so now we're going grocery shopping. We have to get some food. Yes. Cereal. Mushrooms. Dog food. Mushrooms. We need mushrooms. And Swiss cheese. If you have <laughs> Did there. I get you addicted to Swiss cheese? Yes. <laughs> and I need to get uh, uh, toothpaste. I need yes. to brush my teeth. Yes. Well, you guys, I've decided we need to make some Kool-Aid taffy candy. Good morning. So, oh. Okay, so we need to grab some Kool-Aid packets. So, Kaden, what flavors do you want? Hmm. Let's take cherry and pink lemonade. You want a pink lemonade taffy? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I want to try it. All right. And then for me, I might want to do, well, I might just like the cherry one. So we'll just do these two flavors and we're going to make some Kool-Aid taffy candy today. So we'll see how it goes.
was dinner. It wasn't Reese's Pieces. Oh, I'm still full. Dinner was out of control. I don't know what you did. You probably poisoned me. I put tons of onions and mushrooms in it. Just so that Caden wouldn't get the wrong idea, I ate the entire thing. Because <laughs> it was that bad. Because it was that bad. <laughs> I had such a hard day, just physically hard. I had a really... I wish I could tell you guys and show you what I do. It just... It's Maybe so, after you retire, you could talk it's about so it. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> spit it out, spit it's it so out. Pro pro proprietary. There you go. If you isn't that what Shark Tank says? I don't know. So I gotta dye my grays tomorrow. My grays are look at this. I'm gonna show you. They are totally showing. If I didn't dye my hair, I probably would have a full head of gray hair at before I'm 40. Oh, quit your whining. <sighs> I'm whining because I'm blaming my father because my father got his first gray when he was young too and he has a full head of gray hair. After about 45, I think I'll just let it go and have a full head of just silver hair. Uh, just have long, beautiful silver hair. After around 50, I don't really care about dyeing it anymore. I could change my mind as I get older, but... Or I'll change your mind for you. What is that supposed to mean? Because uh, you're getting gray hair in your mustache and your I'm the beard. Boss. Yeah, okay. First of all, let's remind you who wears the pants in the family. Pick the nose, pick the nose, pick the nose, pick the nose. Nobody's talking to you. Anyway, we're going to close out of all this mess of whatever you just watched. <laughs> Because I have just been gathering footage for the last couple of days, and now we need to catch up. So, uh, if you like just total randomness, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'd love up. to hear from more of you. Thank you so much to all you faithful ones. That, all the loyals. That comment. And every day. Every day. Oh, time out. This is super important. Super important. Super. We are very sad. One of our faithful and loyal Mainville long minions, time. long time has been around, who has brought us so many laughs and so many smiles through the comments, had recently passed away and we just found out. Yeah, we're kind of devastated right now. Uh, well, I cried about it. I cried about it yesterday, and I didn't. I didn't mention it till till now. But it was Anonymous. Anonymous was so funny. He had a couple of videos of his cat cooking videos. I liked watching go watching him go over there. He passed away of a massive heart attack. Sudden, yeah. Sudden heart attack. It wasn't expected. So we are just absolutely devastated and sad. We do care about you guys so very much, and we create relationships with you. So we're sad to see one of our Mainville minions go. It's really sad. <laughs> And we do care about you guys. And we notice who you are. We we pay attention. We do. We pay attention at your comments. If you're commenting all the time, we pay attention who you are. And we create relationships. And we're really sad that Anonymous had passed away. He was 73 years old. So he, had, he lived a wonderful, full life. He was a happy person. He was joyful. He brought us so much joy. He loved Elijah. Loved and he loved Elijah. He loved our twin live. He loved he liked daily vlogs. He was just, he, he loved our group of vloggers and we're just going to miss him. And I found out this when uh, I was talking to Michelle from our twin live. She gave me his obituary and I was like, are you kidding me right now? So we do notice you guys and we appreciate you guys and thank you guys for being our friends and making us laugh in the comments and bringing us joy in the comments and we care we care about you guys so anyway um breathe breathe tough loss yeah it is a tough loss um but he gets to join elijah he gets to go see and meet elijah so that's just He'll know Elijah up in heaven, so that just, 
warms my heart. Uh, so take care of them, Anonymous. Anyway, um, hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. As you can see, that we really care about you guys. Um, and we appreciate you for subscribing and joining along in the main Vilminion family here on YouTube. One of the best families here on YouTube. A big hello. Um, sorry for the little skip, but I'm just going to try to do Elijah's for in honor of Anonymous, and I just couldn't do it. He was a good friend, even though I never met him in person, so... Hello to all our new subscribers. Hey, if you are new, leave it in the comments below. We would love to say hi to you. Kaden, come here. Don't forget to favorite and share. <laughs> Don't forget to favorite and share. We will see you guys all for another video. Love you guys so, so much. Ciao. And we mean that when we say we love you so, so much.